Hey guys, so, excuse my face, I have like freaked out skin right now, but I got my hair done. I'm like kind of freaking out because it's shorter than what I wanted and these highlights are like really, really white, but I know it'll fade and like grow in, but yeah, it's like crazy short. And I'm really not used to it yet. I got it done yesterday afternoon. And yeah. Excuse the bloody gigantor on my forehead. It's literally like a devil horn going through or something. So today I'm doing my makeup to get ready to go to my cousin's farewell dinner. He's moving to university. So I'm having a dinner and then having a bit of a party tomorrow night. And I also want to play around with my new brushes. So I got these in the mail. Let me guess what they are. They're the Shanixo Limited Edition Rose Gold Brushes. And are they not the most beautiful things you've ever seen? If you would like to see me get ready and see my thoughts on these brushes, please keep watching. So recently I've noticed my skin has been very oily, so I'm going to take my favourite All About Matte Primer. This is a chatty get ready with me by the way, so this could be like two hours long. I also just ordered more makeup today, which I'm so excited to get. Um, because it's the third today. And Tarte has like 20% off Valentine's Day sale going on. So I bought a bunch of makeup to try and I'm so excited. I got the Rain Forest to the Sea foundation and concealer, which I've wanted for like over a year. I'm sticking with the matte look. I'm going to take the Maybelline Fit Me Matte and Poreless in 115 Ivory. So this is going to be a matte foundation. I should get my brushes out, hey. I will also do a review video on these brushes if you'd like to see, so comment down below. These brushes are a lot denser than I thought. Mm, I'm thinking maybe it would wash out of them a bit. It's really nice, it's like applying the foundation evenly and it's not soaking up the product, which is nice. Oh my god, so the Jeffree Star Androgyny palette like um released today, like what it looks like. And it's nothing like I expected. I thought it was gonna be like a really like warm tones and burgundies and it's actually really different to that it's it's got like a warm tone row and then it's got like some different colors it's really nice though at first i didn't like it but then i watched this video and just looked at the colors a bit more and i really do like it so that's going on the wish list that releases at the start of march and my other like big item on my wish list is the Jaclyn Hill palette of course. So I know Shanexo uses her dual petal brush for concealer so I'm going to try that. I'm taking MAC, well, Pro Longwear in NC15, NC20, NW20. I'm taking the MAC Pro Longwear in NW20. It's so fluffy. It's amazing. That feels so nice. I think you should probably use like this brush. I'm going to take my Color Theory Translucent Powder and bake my under eyes a little. take this one yeah so I'm taking the Australis fresh and flawless pressed powder in light beige on the vegan powder brush this is different than what I thought like it's kind of like a different shade I feel like it could have had a bit more of a flat top rather than like a dome top
This is a matte foundation, but I still feel the need to set it. And this will also apply more coverage. And... I don't know, like I never have too much coverage. I'm also wearing a high neck dress tonight, so... I don't want too much makeup on my neck. And I take the NARS bronzing powder in Laguna. This is a sample. Um, so I've already used this like three times. There's like not much left. I'm just going to take the Real Techniques Multitask brush. The bronzing brush is like a contour brush. So I can't really like bronze. Oh, I guess I could. I feel like a fluffy brush works better though. So I'm just going to take some of that. I'll probably end up using a different bronzer as well because this is like nothing left on this. I'm going to take a little bit of my Too Faced Baked Luminous Bronze Glow. As always, I stick to the kind of light side. And this one I'm just going to stick to my cheeks and my nose with. Because I thought my foundation's tan enough. But I don't know. I might go a little down the neck. I love this on my nose. I'm going to take my Kogo contour kit and the bronzer brush to contour. And I'm going to take medium cocoa, which is the grey colour. Oh, well, it's got a nice defined line to it. I kind of feel like I contour too low on my face. I'm watching Shani Grumman today and she contours like up here. Like I contour like in the actual divot. Which apparently is too low. I'm going to take my shimmer tulip brush into light cocoa. Just to clean up under my contour a little. And then also brighten under the eyes. So next is blush. They don't really have a blush brush, so I'm just going to use a different one. Um, I'm just going to stick with my Roger Next one because I love it. So I'm taking my current absolute favourite combo, and that is the Bow Beauty Blush in Rosy with the Bronx Colours Intense Blush in Peach. So this is like a dark almost terracotta kind of colour and this is like a bright peach and I just love the way they look together so I just go back and forth a little bit make sure to tap off your brush So for my brows, I'm taking the Colourpop Dirt Tote Brow Colour with the Exo Beauty Eyebrow What? Eyebrow Groom Brush. So this has a angled brush on one end and a little baby spool on the other end. Oh, on camera. So I'm just brushing through them. I actually love the size of this spoolie, how it's short. So I'm taking that Colourpop Brow Colour, which I always use. Dip my brush in a little bit and start just working. This brush is so thin, you can actually draw like the direct hairs in. And then recently, I've been loving the Tag Team Brow Gel from Australis. This is just a clear brow gel. And yeah, that's probably my favourite part of makeup. I'm going to do my highlight. So I'm taking the Rainforest of the Sea Skin Twinkle Volume 2 by Tarte and the Shimmer Chul brush. And I'm going to go into Daylight, which is the light 
like white gold kind of color. So for eyes, I have five brushes. We have the eyeshadow brush, which is like a flat shader, the blend, the crease blender, which is like a bit shorter. One's like long and skinny, one's shorter. We have the angled shadow, which is like a dense angled brush. It's kind of really thin. And then the pencil brush. So I may have to use other brushes as well. I'm going to take my crease blend brush, which is the denser one, and I'm going to go into Nougat, which is this colour here. I'm really fussy with my crease brushes. These are a little, this one's a little flimsier, the other one's a little too dense and hard. Next I'm going to go into Mousse, which is this one here, on the blender brush. I'm going to go into peanut butter, which is like the really orangey shade. Kind of defeats the cool tone purpose, but I want to build up this colour a bit more. I'm going to take the crease blender and I'm going to go into Puddin, which is this grey kind of colour here. And I'm going to put this in the outer V. Yeah, I'm just going to take my BH number 12 because this brush is just the bomb diggity at blending out shades. I'm going to take the angled shadow brush into coconut cream, which is that white one. And that's going packed in there. Truffled, which is this brown. This is like a chocolatey dark brown. And it's going in the outer corner. I'm going to start working my lower lash line. I'm going to go in with mousse first. So this one on the pencil brush. I've never used a pencil brush like this. So I'm interested to see how it goes. It's very stiff. Which I guess you want because you're like directly placing the colour. Then I'm going to take Puddin. That one. And work that into the outer half. And then a little bit of truffle. This is right on the outer third, right against the lashes. And then again, take my blender brush and blend. You can blend it around your eye a little bit. I'm going to take a mixture of pudding and truffled. That's what it's called. Tap off the excess. And I'm going to drag that all the way in. So I'm going to take truffle on the very outer corner. And put in towards the middle. So that places colour down really well. I might take rum raisin, which is this one. Because it's a little more cool tone. And then just for a bit of glitz, I'm going to take a bit of pink sugar because it's actual glitter. Can you kind of see that? Now the 
highlight shade in this is Pecan Pie. Butter Pecan, I mean. Which I feel like is a bit gold for me at the moment. So I'm going to take a different powder. <laughs> I'm going to go back to my Tarte palette and I'm going to take Daylight. There we go, that gives us a bit of a gleam. I'm also dusting off the uh, pencil brush and I'm going to take a mixture of Daylight and Skylight for my inner corner. This also has a liner brush which I'm not going to use because I haven't done gel liner in forever. So I don't want to experiment with winged liner using gel liner today because I have to go out in like half an hour. So I'm just going to stick with the Essence Waterproof Eyeliner Pen and apply some mascara and I'll be back. So I just run the straightener through my hair. You can see my foils. They're like really intense. <laughs> For my lips, I'm taking the Ofra Long Lasting Liquid Hard Lipstick in Aries. This is one of the many anyway collaboration colours. So I hope you enjoyed. If you did, please like and subscribe and leave a thumbs up. Also leave some feedback if you'd like a video featuring the Shanexo brushes and what you think of my hair. I'm not sure how I feel about it yet, honestly.